Week two college football picks, and I got quite a few for you. Offshoreinsiders.com from Joe Duffy's picks. Let's get straight to them. By the way, you do have a loaded card already up for this college football weekend at offshoreinsiders.com with Joe Duffy's picks. We'll get to those details in a moment. Texas plus the 20 against Alabama is going to be my first winner. Texas is, of course, off a 52 to 10 route of Louisiana Monroe, and it does fit into a home momentum angle. That is 5, 44, and 405. Now you're probably saying, wait a minute, Alabama, they're off of quite an impressive effort themselves. Are they not also in momentum? Well, no, this angle only applies to home teams. And yes, it very much holds up if the road team is also off of a big, impressive victory. And you may also ask, you should ask, well, okay, Texas, they destroyed Louisiana Monroe. In fact, the winning percentage is even a little bit better if they destroy a team they were expected to blow out. Betting on home underdogs of 20 or more versus a team off of a 52-point or more win is 30 and 21 all time. Now, that's not statistically significant. It's obviously quite rare, but I did want to look up and make sure that it was not canceled out if the road team is off of a blowout victory themselves. Now, it's early, but both of our contrarian indexes, one which is from a worldwide sports book, the other has to do with a super square outlaw money, very strong and corroborated. Looks like the money or the bets, the bets, are on Alabama, and we are fading the public here, and it's always a good thing to fade the public, believe me. So again, your free pick is to go with Texas. Now, I got another free pick for you. Maryland minus the 27 against Charlotte, and quite a few good systems here. If you fade poor first-half teams that are playing at home and they're off of a high-scoring game, it is 585 and 415. Now again, you're going to say, hold it. We're only in week two. How can you determine if a team is a poor first-half team? It very much does apply in week two at 58% because this is about some overreaction and underreaction, and uh, there's a lot of that very much early in the season. So, yes, I always double-check these angles. Do hold up even after just one game of data. Now, Charlotte was outscored 26-7 in the first half, and they lost 43-13. to That's why this does apply. Also, uh, big favorites in a game that's supposed to be high scoring. 184-137, and that's uh, for 57.3%. Uh, this is one of those where it's kind of intuitive. By the way, the total is 65. So, again, uh, the points when it's supposed to be a high-scoring game, all of a sudden 27 points doesn't loom quite as large. Admittedly, most of our angles would fit under counterintuitive, but this one definitely does make sense. Points, again, are more valuable when the odds makers tell you it's going to be a low-scoring game. Well, the odds makers tell you there are going to be a lot of points here, so all of a sudden 27 points doesn't loom quite as large. Big away favorites off a win as a favorite versus an opponent that is off of a loss is 240, 185, and 5. By the way, at the risk of stating the obvious, yes, all these um, are against the spread, these angles. And I keep telling you, while the NFL is about regression to the mean, college sports, football, and basketball, both of those are momentum sports. So that's why these angles uh, do apply here. I got some more free picks coming up for you, but... As I said, again, um, these are not even my biggest picks this weekend. I got a whole lot more of my strongest plays are at offshoreinsiders.com, and they're already up for the weekend, Joe Duffy's picks. I got another free winner for you, Ohio State and Arkansas State, to go over the 68 and a half. We got a math angle that is 887 and 646. Now, I don't want to tell you everything that's involved because, you know, I want to give all away my stuff. I know a lot of handicappers out here uh, watch my videos and they've got some good software themselves. In some cases, the same software I'm using. In my case, I'm using several different uh, brands of software, but I don't want to give the exact angles, but believe me, it's a math angle that applies in every single sport, applies to both the over and the under, and it holds up in every single sport. A very basic philosophy, to be honest with you. If a total is at least 
Uh, one of the teams is substantially higher than the previous week. We use the odds maker's knowledge against them, and it goes over 199 and 144. Again, that's part of our success. When the odds makers are making a statement, we listen to them. It's 10 points higher than the Buckeyes game was last week, and that game went well under with it, just a total of 31 points scored, but yet, this week's total is 68 and a half. As the, I was told when I got into the business, the line is telling you something. I didn't know really what they meant when some of the old timers said that to me, but now I do know this is a great example. The line is telling you something. Listen to what they are telling you. Overachieving defenses are also a solid over a play. Now, how do we determine what um, overachieving defenses are? Well, now here is where the offenses and defenses will each regress to the mean based on delta points allowed, which is how many points they allowed relative to the average, average team total for the year. Now, in this case, again, it still holds up if there's only one game, but if a team was expected to score to the United States, they played three games, and their team total, their team total by the odds makers was an average of 13 and a half, but then they scored 20 points, so that would be delta points plus 6.5. It's somewhat complex. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't complex. It's it's a little easier to understand once you do get it. But anyway, that's what delta points are. And, and overachieving defense is a solid play if they hold a team to less than the odds makers expected them to, essentially. So again, that is another winner, Ohio State and Arkansas State, to go over the total. I got Iowa State plus the three and a half against Iowa. Um, again, college football is a great momentum sport. I keep telling you that. Uh, away underdogs versus a team off a horrible offensive game, 283, 177, and 16. Iowa scored just seven points last week. And by the way, more than half of that on safeties. Yes, more than half the points they scored were on safeties, which I don't know how often that happens. You know, maybe when a team wins two to nothing, but yeah, they actually had two safeties and they scored a total of seven points. Well, again, you want to visit offshoreinsiders.com because boo boo, do I have some great stuff for you next, uh, this weekend, but I do want to give you a free pick first. Middle Tennessee State plus the seven and a half against Colorado State. Well, I'm going to say it again. Another example where college football, a great momentum sport. Away underdogs versus a team off a horrible offensive game is 283, 177, and 16, as CSU is blown out 51 to 7. And that's why we are fading them, because again, as I said, it is truly a momentum sport. Well, this weekend, look, I was 4 and 1 in college football last weekend, two sides. Plus a total on Friday, then Saturday. It's four wise guy plays in eight majors. Now, sometimes some people say, look, you got too many plays. All right, well, then just play my wise guys. If you don't want to go 12 and out, then just play my wise guy plays. And this includes the CBS total of the year, ACC network non-conference total of the year, ESPN non-conference total of the year, all that and more at offshoreinsiders.com. Joe Duffy's picks, nobody, nobody is better. Do you want free information like this? I'll be happy to give you free picks that are going to be better than the premium picks you're going to get elsewhere. I've been in this business since 1988, to be honest with you. I know what the hell I'm talking about. Please help us out. Please uh, like or give us the hearts or share, comment, embed, retweet, whatever you can do, and always visit, always visit, visit offshoreinsiders.com for the best vetted sports books and the best sports handicapping selections, offshoreinsiders.com.